part 15, the theorem of Pythagoras. You will find this on page 187 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook, Y equals MX plus C to success. In a right angle triangle, the side opposite the right angle, the longer side, is called the hypotenuse. In triangle ABC, the side AB, can you see AB, which is opposite to angle C, is the hypotenuse. Okay, note, we use the small letter of an angle in a triangle to name the side opposite to it. In this figure, the side opposite angle A, big uh, capital letter, will be side small a. The side opposite angle B, opposite small b. So that small b represents the side, and this capital letter of B represents the angle. And then opposite the angle C will be the side small c, the side AB. So it can either be AB or you can use the small letter C. Okay. Identify the hypotenuse of each of the following right angle triangles. Okay. Now remember, the hypotenuse is the longest side and it's always opposite the 90 degrees. So this will be my hypotenuse. This is the 90. This will be my hypotenuse. And this is the 90. This will be my hypotenuse. So it will be the side D. F, it will be LJ, and it will be TR. Okay, you can work through this investigation. It will really help you to understand the theorem of Pythagoras. Okay, but we are going to focus on the conclusion. From this investigation, we observe that in a right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. So basically, if I form a, squ a square here, a square of this, so all the sides must be equal, and I form a square out of this one and a square out of this one. So if I add up this two shorter um, area of the squares, that will be equal to this big square. And that's the reason why we say, that square, why do we use that square? Because how do you work out the area of a square? Remember, the area of a square is side times side, and that's side squared. And that's the reason why we square it. Okay, so let's look at an example. Example 17. In triangle ABC, angle C is 90, AC is 8. Okay, where is AC? AC is 8. BC is 6. Find the length of AB. They are looking for the long one. So if they are looking for the long one, it's always an addition. So use Pythagoras, you can say AB squared will be equal to BC squared plus AC squared. So it will be 6 squared plus 8 squared, and that's 100. And then if I want to get rid of the square, remember, I must take the square root. But actually, if you take the square root, it must be plus minus. But we are leaving out the negative. And why do we leave out? Why is negative 10 not included from the answer? Because you cannot get a negative length. You cannot say, okay, this wall will be negative 10 meters. Length can only be positive, And that's why we only take the positive square root, and that will be equal to 10. So this will be 10. But if I work out this area, that will be 100. And if I work out this area, 36, this area, 64, and 36 plus 64 will give me that 100. Okay. I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do try now 17. As soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's start. Try now 17. Okay, in triangle, in triangle ABC, angle C is 90. AC is 24, BC is 7. Find the length of AB. So start by saying in triangle ABC, angle C is 90. So we are going to use Pythagoras theorem 
and we can then say, according to the triangle, take the long one, so it's AB squared will be equal to the short one, AC squared will be equal to that one, BC squared. And if I substitute, it's going to be AC, so it's 24 squared plus BC, what will BC be? 7 squared, and that will give me an answer of 576 plus 49, and if I add it up, it's 625. Now, therefore, AB, I just want the side, not the area. I take this positive square root due to the fact that it's length, and the answer will be 25, and now I can put the unit in centimeters.